Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. Now, iOS 15 is just around the corner. It will be released to the public very, very soon, way sooner than we expected. So in this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15 and some huge events that happened last week and why I think iOS 15 has come to a stop. Now, before we get into all that, make sure to smash the like button of this video. That will help out a lot. Of course, will help this video and this channel to do much, much better. All right, so first of all, last week, Apple has released the seventh beta of iOS 15. And this is probably the most important release since the first beta of iOS 15. Not about its new features, it's because it doesn't have like many of those, it has actually one, which is very important and of course, very useful. You can go to settings now and from here, go to notifications and you will find here, of course, your mail notifications. Now, what you can do with this new feature is actually customize these notifications based on the account that you have on the mail app. So if you have multiple accounts, you can go here and you will have them right on the list here and you can go ahead and change their alerts, their sounds and their badges as well. And I can do that individually for each of the accounts. You will have customized alerts and badges based on the account that you want to. Now this is very good and of course really important, but besides this and of course the new bug fixes and improvements that iOS 15 beta 7 brings, there are no other new features. That's why I believe iOS 15 has now come to a stop. You cannot expect Apple to add more new features before the release of iOS 15 to the public, for which we're going to talk about in a second now because it's really important and will happen really, really soon. Now, why I do believe that is because of this. So if you go to your iPhone's about section on the settings app and you have beta seven installed, you will see that it ends now with an A. That meaning that the betas are basically done. So you can expect Apple to release maybe another beta with the same build or just go straight to the GM or the RC version of iOS 15. That should happen very soon, maybe this week or maybe even the next week because we have iOS 15 just around the corner and it will be released very, very soon to the public. We're going to talk about that just now. So iOS 15, of course, will be released as it's the same as every year alongside with the new devices. Now, last year, Apple released iOS 14 just after a day after the event. So the event for the iPhone before the new Apple watches actually and the new iPads, I believe it was, was on September 15th. So here we have September. It was right here on September 15th. And then the release of iOS 14 came just a day after the event. Now, based on what's going on here, and of course, the build number of iOS 15 beta 7, I believe that that should happen this year as well. So, of course, this September, we will also have an event for the iPhone 13. And there are different dates that are going around, of course, regarding the release of, of the new iPhones. But the main one that you can see probably most of the big leakers say talk about is September we have a right here, September 14th. That should be the date that Apple holds the events and of course will unveil the new devices. So we have September 14th right here on a Tuesday. And then I expect Apple to release on the 15th, the day after iOS 15 to the public. And that of course, based as I said, on the build number of beta seven, that's really, really important because I don't believe Apple will release many other betas of iOS 15. I think the next one should be the RC version of iOS 15. Now, usually what Apple does previous years, of course, besides last year, Apple releases, basically presents, presents the new iPhones on this day. So at the beginning of the week, the Friday of that week, they go on, of course, pre-order and then the next Friday, a week after they go on sale. Usually Apple releases the iOS a day or two before the devices go on sale. So that would put iOS 15 right here on 22nd or 23rd. But I believe based again on that build number that that won't happen this year, but we will get iOS 15 way earlier and we will get it on the 15th of September. So what should we expect next? Now I expect Apple as soon as they release the release candidate of iOS 15 to go ahead and release the first beta of iOS 15.1. 
so that might be a chance that some of the iPhones won't be released to the public one go on sale actually in September they might go on October so they might release with iOS 15.1 if that happens so we will have to wait and see for that it might not happen iOS 15.1 might go out alongside the new Mac OS which will happen of course in October but there is a chance that some of the models of the iPhones like we used to see last few years will go on sale later that in October and will go out will ship out with iOS 15.1 installed that should may might happen as well but we should see iOS 15 beta 1 come out really really soon I expect it in probably a week or maybe even two maximum to have a beta the first beta of iOS 15.1 now that will be really interesting on that beta we should see quite a lot of new features maybe some of the big new features we expected to see with the initial release of iOS 15 beta 1 we might we might see them actually on be on iOS 15.1 beta 1 very 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 interesting and I'm very curious to see that update and see how many new features we can get with iOS 15.1 and whether there will be like big new features that will make iOS 15 like more appealing to the people but that should happen again probably in a week or so we should get the first beta of iOS 15.1 and as I said again expect iOS 15 to come out to the public on September 15th that's that actually makes sense 15 on the 15th that should happen this year so when it comes to updating to ios 15 or not i know a lot of people are not actually excited about this update but i really enjoy it just look at it as ios 14 with a bunch of other new features i know they're not like big new features to be excited about even though some of the features that it brings are quite good like seal works offline of course you will get the live text feature and later on we'll also get the share play feature and all that which are actually pretty good and I believe a lot of people will take advantage of those features even though it has a ton of others it has like probably more more than 400 new features that are actually very very good so if you get iOS 15 on your device of course if you have a device that supports iOS 15 I suggest you go ahead and update maybe not on the first few days we should we should wait to see if there are like any major bugs or flaws but I don't believe so iOS 15 has been quite good quite stable since the initial release of beta 1 so that's pretty much it for this video guys iOS 15 expected to be released in a couple of weeks you should get the update for iOS 15 on your device hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 15 videos and of course don't forget to leave a like on this one I will see you guys on the next video